Hey everyone, I am Jason and today we are going to talk about for loops. So for loops are another way you can iterate through a process and execute code over and over again, aka create an, a different type of loop, right? And I think the very fundamental difference between using for loops and while loops is that when you're using a for loop, um, you know exactly how many times you want the loop uh, to go through the block of code. and it uses a very specific syntax. It can be a little bit um, confusing at first, but really mastering the syntax can be really helpful um, once you do need to use for loops in more complicated ways. So I guess the analogy that I wanted to create here was imagine you're walking inside a cave or somewhere where there's an echo, right? So you're walking through a cave and you yell, hello. When you yell hello, you're going to hear the echo or the ripple effect, right? So like the echo. Uh, you can hear hello, 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 right? And um, let's say our cave for some reason always echoes five times, right? So we're going to create a little for loop here, um, knowing exactly how many times we need to iterate and uh, the word hello, right? So I'm going to start off with four. So you got to you got to pay really good attention to the syntax here because it's very specific. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to initialize my variable. So I'm going to create a variable, an integer called i, um, and I'm going to set that equal to 0. Then I'm going to create my conditional, or my condition right here. Uh, let's see, and I'm going to say, since I want to go 5 times, as long as i is less than 5, go with the code. And let's say every time it goes or it iterates through the process, I'm going to increase i by 1, right? So I know I said that a little fast, and I will get back to that soon because the syntax is a little bit different than anything you've ever seen before. Um, but for the meantime, I'm going to see out the part of the echo called, or hello, right? And I'm going to be nice and neat here, and I'm going to give it a different line every time. So I will end it there. So yeah, let's see if this runs, and if it does run, then I will re-explain everything here um, is it running? hopefully it's running I might hesitate a little bit ok I'm going to clear it here and I'm going to press run one more time great so as you can see here um, we have the echo effect Hello, 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 hello. There's my little cave analogy, right? Um, but yeah, in order to really understand the for loop, it's really important to understand this line right here. What we're doing is first um, initializing a variable, and we're going to put that to zero, right? And then we want to say that while, or not while, because that's a while loop, as long as i is less than 5, um, we're going to continue with this loop, right? And then every time it iterates, we're going to increase it by one. Um, but remember that since our initial um, variable is zero, um, note that a for loop actually goes through the process once before it comes back to the conditional. So it's going to go through the process for zero, it's going to go through the process for one, for two, for three, and for four. Obviously not for 5 because 5 is not less than i. But but either way, we still have 5 hellos because it, it, it iterated through the process um, nevertheless 5 times. And yeah, simple as that. Those are for loops. I know it can be a little daunting at first to understand the logic of the syntax part. But um, once you really learn to master that, you can actually create some really powerful code um, in your program. So I've been Jason, and I hope you enjoyed for loops.